If you haven't already, guys, don't forget to go and press the subscribe button. It'd be very much appreciated, and I will see you in the video. What is up, guys? MXG here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a, a glitches video. Now, I haven't done glitches since Black Ops 1 came out, and me and my friend Phil used to do a lot of glitches. But I'm back, and we're playing some more Call of Duty, and I thought, you know what? We found a nice glitch, and I think I want to show you guys. I thought you guys might appreciate it, as it is a pretty OP glitch, one of the best ones I've seen in this game so far. So anyway, uh, the first Zombies map, which comes with the game, hopefully, I think it does, not too sure. Anyway, if you have the game, and you have the map, uh, zombies in space land and you will know this glitch okay um, so pretty much I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on this glitch and I'm gonna show you how it works how to do it and I'm doing it with my friend Josh I'll link his channel in the description and let's get straight into this um, so pretty much one of the first things you want to do is you want to go into the arcade and get a couple of tickets you need about I think you need about 45 tickets if I'm correct if not just get some more just in case um, and uh, pretty much what you want to find something, alright, you want to find a particular piece of equipment around the map. Now, um, we found it in this particular part of the map, up near the, um, up near the, uh, the roller coaster, up in the hills, up in the snowy mountain area. But you can find it anywhere in the map, so make sure you check every single map location and every single, uh, item box. So you need about, um, roughly about 45 tickets, if I'm correct. And you want to buy something called the Transponder. Now, the Transponder is a amazing piece of equipment on this game, where pretty much it's almost like a teleporter. Or, anyway, it is a teleporter. Um, and what you want to do is... Um, you want to throw this under the bridge, so you know there's like a bridge, like with a water going under it, like near near where you found, near where I found the transporter, up near the um, big glowing fountains, you want to go there and you want to go down and you want to stand halfway down the steps. And once you're standing halfway down the steps, you want to throw the transponder and you want to get it to land somewhere underneath the bridge. Um, and when it lands somewhere underneath the bridge, it will teleport you to there, or it will land there, and then you press the button again, that you, you press L LB to throw it, throw it down there if you're on Xbox, whatever other button it is, uh, teleport to there, and you'll be underneath the bridge, and technically, you'll be, you're still in the map, but you're not actually, you're still, you're invincible, the zombies can't really get you, or they're not going to go after you anyway. Um, so you've reached the point where you are literally there, you are where you need to be, what you want to do is you want to quickly cross the river, uh, just walk across the river, it's okay, you're not going to die, just walk across it, but make sure you walk in a straight line, don't like, don't wander off somewhere that, you, that I haven't told you to go, because you might die. Um, then, originally, me and my friend Josh used to go around that side, around the side, but it doesn't work. What you want to do is, you want to climb up this uh, ledge, it's quite complicated, but you want to climb up the ledge, then you turn around and climb up the ledge on the right, so you climb up the ledge on the left, climb up the ledge on the right, uh, and it will take you up to the top. Now, um, when I did it, I kind of failed. I got up to the top and I was invincible, uh, and I fell into like the back bit, so I was kind of underneath the bridge. Technically, I was still invincible and I was still out of the map, but it, you know, it, I wasn't exactly um, in the best place ever. So, I, um, although I did complete this, I am going to show you what my friend Josh did. He did it a lot better, and he managed to not fall in the gap. So, I'm going to show you what he did. Um, so basically what you want to do is, Josh has just thrown the transponder and teleported down to the river, like I said, crossed the river, and of course he's the one that showed me this technique originally, because I, I knew a lot about this map, but I never knew about this glitch, uh, so when I found out I was pretty happy that I could do it. So as you can see, he he's way better at climbing up the stuff, and he's simply just standing on top of the stuff, and you can actually walk through like everything, because when you're invincible you can walk through everything apart from like the bridges and stuff, so um, he uses like the army crawl technique to kind of, you know, uh, go under the bridge because never try and climb the bridge unless you know you're going to fall through it now he's out he's still outside the map and as you can tell he's literally just exploring the landscape by climbing through the flowers um so pretty much right now he is outside the actual map and he's inside all the rides which i think is really cool um pretty much i'm spectating his character right now and pretty much he, he's inside the rides so what you want to do is here yeah, you want to climb on this wall and then you can actually start going inside the buildings and you can start going inside the actual map so it's actually really crazy when you think about it um, so get it back in the scenery again. Yeah. And pretty much you can go into every building. Don't go in that room, because if you go in that room with the blood on the floor, you will fall to your death. You will fall, and you will never stop falling, and then eventually you'll die. So, trust me, yeah, trust me, it's not good. Um, so you just want, you can carry on walking any direction, it doesn't matter what direction you go, you pretty much will be able to go anywhere. And this will take you into literally any part of the map. There's not like um, a barrier where you can stop. Literally, look, he's, he's outside the map, he's outside the ground, like the grounds, he's outside the walls. Uh, and there'll be a couple of doors, and now, he's actually, so you know where the, the double bridges are? Where you can stand on the double bridge? He's literally outside it, so he's on the wall, which means he's still technically invincible. 
uh, and he's pretty much just scaling the outer edge of the map and no, it, it's probably one of the best things you can do in terms of zombie tactics because chilling on the edge of the wall just staying there uh, it makes you invisible and if you aim your sight down on the wall when you're on top you can actually float so as you can see he's currently floating it's actually cr I don't know what I don't know how he does it but he's he, you aim your sight and then eventually you create an invisible bridge that takes you over to the roof and now you're on the roof of the actual like the main starter point which is probably one of the best places you could be. So yeah guys, anyway, um, that has pretty much been us doing this little tutorial thing. Um, I su I um, really suggest you guys check this glitch out if you have the game, because it's one of the best glitches ever, and it's really, really helpful if you don't want to die on zombies. Uh, pretty much, as you can tell, he's now inside. I just want to quickly say, although it, as I'm recording this outro, he's still outside the map, uh, and he's in the bit where the zombies spawn. Uh, and we, we, we the, re the reason why I'm here is because we wanted to test a theory, we wanted to test whether the zombies could still hurt him, and we discovered that you can actually ball up the barricades from, like, the same side, which is crazy, how crazy, you can ball up the barricades from the inside, um, and not only that, the zombies that spawn inside the, uh, location he currently is, inside the building that you're not supposed to be in, they don't go after him, so look, look if he just walks around, the zombie just doesn't care, the zombie does not care. <laughs> So just a quick thank you, uh, I just want to really say thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next video, don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe like I said at the beginning, it would be really helpful and you know, it'd just be, and then comment whether you subscribe, that would be really cool. Uh, pretty much we're going to start doing some more glitches from now on because I do quite enjoy doing these videos and they're quite fun to make and I like spending time with my friends on these games you know. Um, so pretty, you know, kind of one of the gaming things I do on my channel. Um, so anyway, I will see you guys uh, in the future and as always, bala bing.